Tonight, new information from investigators on the Green Line crash. We've learned the train, which rear-ended another car Friday, was speeding. More than two dozen people were hurt. WBZ's Ken McLeod has the latest. S10 means the speed limit for Green Line trains along this stretch of Com Ave is 10 miles per hour. But federal investigators now believe the train that caused last Friday's accident was going three times faster. A team from the National Transportation Safety Board examined the wrecked trains today, and Governor Baker was among those looking for answers. I'm really anxious to find out exactly what happened because this could have been a far more significant incident. It was just after 6 p.m. Friday when a westbound train slammed into another train from behind near BU's Aganis Arena, sending more than two dozen people to the hospital and shutting down the Green Line's B branch for several hours. The operator of the rear train was quickly put on leave. And while the investigation is just beginning, the NTSB says preliminary indications are that the train barreling in from behind was going 30 miles an hour, three times the 10 mile per hour speed limit. Some regular riders we spoke with tonight were not terribly surprised. It's pretty scary. Um, but that wouldn't stop me from uh, go, taking the tea again, I would say. I got 36 miles an hour. Thing is, the controversy over Green Line trolley speeds along Com Ave is not new. Back in 2010, our I-team took a radar gun to the tracks after a couple of mishaps and found trains routinely going two and three times faster than the 10 mile per hour speed limit. And the general manager of the T at that time pledged a crackdown. We're going to be making sure that this does not happen uh, in the future. And if it continues to, we'll, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll, we'll be implementing proactive discipline against the operators who are violating the speed limits. But even if that hasn't happened, we found no rider rebellion brewing as a result. I have to say, for the most part, I've had excellent experiences with the T. The NTSB is quick to remind us that a full investigation can take more than a year, but the feds expect to have some preliminary findings in a few weeks. On Comab tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you. Today, the state report.